welcome back if you haven't followed me hit subscribe now so today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my new business venture so my new business venture is hair so I've started my own weave extension line called DJ Sanchez collection and I'm here to do a couple of Q&A's with you guys about the brand so let's get started so the number one question of course is what is your business so again, as I said, I am doing a hair extension line, so I'm going to have lace frontals, wigs, lace frontal wigs, and bundles. I'm debating to have a bundle deal on the site, but there will definitely be always sales. So that's number one. I'm looking forward to opening soon. Um, in terms of the business, i super, super, super excited. I never knew business was ever this hard ever 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 until doing it myself so you know when you look at people and you look at their websites you're like oh my gosh like how did they do this I did a lot of investigating a lot of research went into this I've been doing this probably since about November and it's March and then so much research so much testing of hair testing different bundles finding models just it's been a, a long journey but I'm excited I'm super super excited I'm gonna also be doing videos on how I tested the hair, what I did to find out whether the hair was quality or whether the hair to me was not good quality, the things to look for, communication with vendors, and I'm thinking about releasing a vendors list, which will probably be really, really soon to help everyone out there, right? Because if it wasn't for the people who I look up to and I look into, then I would never be able to venture on my own. So let's get started on question number two. Okay, so why is my company a good choice so i would say my company is a good choice because i put in a lot of time invested into finding quality hair both russian blonde and regular 1b hair i took my time i looked at companies from india right down to different vendors in china like i went through it guys i went through it i had like I had headaches, I had times where I had girls try hair and then send me pictures of hair in clumps. I had hair where it didn't dye, hair where companies will tell you 7A, 8A, 9A, and it's just hair at like the hair store. Like literally if you put your face in the, in the oven, like your hair's melting. So I did, it took a lot of time to go through vendors and I'm passionate about it and I would love to see girls wear hair just like me all the time beautiful hair, thick hair, hair that will last, hair you won't have to have today and then get rid of next week, hair that will last for years. A lot of the hair that I wear are wigs, so I have had my wigs, a few wigs for at least like a year or two years and they are amazing. So I will say that the vendor that I have that is helping me with my brand are amazing. So you guys will not be disappointed. I took my time looking for uh, like an amazing vendor okay so number three guys is what made me start okay so let's go on a weave journey so for me I have been wearing weave since grade how long have I been weave since grade nine, I believe. So when I was in grade eight, I used to see all the high school girls, I'm like, oh my gosh, their hair looks so nice. All these different hairstyles, I wasn't allowed to have weave. And then when I got to grade nine, I begged my mom, begged my mom, I got my first job, and then that was my first into the weave industry. So of course, like every girl, when you first have no idea about weave, you go to, I would go to the hair store and buy all that weave, and like every like month and a half, I'd have to change the weave. Like, do you guys remember back in the day when like, when you used to get those pack weaves and sleep, and if you slept on your hair, you didn't wear the right head tie, like the whole back looked like it was just matted. Like it was crazy. And when you combed it out, it looked like fuzz, like static at the back. Like it was just yeah, bad times. So that was my first venture. And then by the time I got into grade 11, I want to say, I started wearing lace wigs. I found a, a girl in Toronto that was amazing at doing hair, and she put told me I should try lace wigs. So that was my first venture into lace wigs, and let me tell you, that was a bad experience. The, the hair was amazing quality, but the glue, I knew nothing about the glue. I lost my hairline. I had to stop wearing them to grow my hairline back. It was an adventure, but that was my experience in 
learning to like hair and from that I started to learn to I started to explore I looked at different like hair companies I went to different girls to do my hair I used to ask questions I learned how to do weave and do frontals and everything like that by when I go to the hairdresser I would literally stare at what they were doing and the mirror and then go home and try to repeat the pattern I would use my cousins as like guinea pigs and do all that kind of stuff that's how I learned about hair and then I created a love for hair see I always am changing my hair I love to see women look good I love the fact the power of hair because you can change your hair today and look like someone totally different tomorrow so my passion for hair has been lifelong starting from when I used to have extensions all the way up until I learned about lace wigs all the way up until now where back when I used to wear lace wigs there was no plucking the frontal there was no bleaching the frontal it looked like a hat but back then it was like your hair looked popping now if I was that without the same wig on people would be like where is she going so come a long way in the weave and hair industry but I am happy with where I am now and very confident with my experience to now have my own company so I look forward to you guys purchasing and your reviews on the hair and all the great things that are going to come with this new venture. So question number four. <laughs> um, okay, so I think I kind of covered it. Why hair as a venture? Again, I love hair. I'm not a hairdresser. I don't do hair. I started out learning how to do my own hair by going to different hairdressers, copying what they do. And then I became a natural, I want to say, at just doing, looking at pictures of people's hair and being able to recreate that look. So for me, because I was naturally blessed with the talent of being able to look at something and copy it, I chose hair as a venture because that's what I was blessed, my hands were blessed with the ability to recreate styles that I see. And that was with hair. So I, again, you know, if you have a God-given talent, definitely make use of it. Um, I think I also touched on this, but I'll go back to it again because I have a questionnaire, a questionnaire in front of me that I'm just going off of to answer all these questions. Um, what do I love about hair? Again, like I said, I love the fact that with hair, we can change how we look, man or woman. The power of hair, the first thing people notice is your hair and your shoes. That's what I believe. So when your hair looks good, everything else comes together. You could look on me. Just be a sweater, sweatpants day, and your hair looks fly, your whole outfit is just popping. So to me, the power of hair, you can look, have a pixie cut today, tomorrow you could have 30 inches of hair. Tomorrow you could have a pink hair, and the next day your hair could be brown. It's just, there's so much versatility with hair that I love always recreating and changing my look. Um, next would be my future aspirations of my company. So for me, right now, I'm just starting with selling the hair and the extensions and recommending different girls that I've gone to in, in the Toronto area and hopefully one day I hope to open a salon where I can sell my hair in, in the salon and then girls from all over can work in the salon and just have a growing growing business that's where I see in the near future as for the far future I'm not sure because I feel like we can never plan. Like they always say, like while you're planning, God has a totally different plan. So I just walk with faith and see where this company takes me. I'm excited to see where I'm going. I feel like good things are definitely coming. And I'm excited for you guys to see what I have coming. Um, I was going to say a little bit about me in general. Last before we, you know, this is the end. Okay, so I am 26 years old. And I live in Toronto, Canada, and I have one son, <laughs> and I have three degrees. So I have my, um, a BA undergraduate degree in sociology, I have a bachelor's in social work, and then I have a master's in social work. And I love child, like I have a passion for working with children and helping kids and donating and just helping youth find shelters, do like anything within child welfare, let's put it that way. That's what I do as my full time. That's what takes up most of my time and then being a mom. And then my passion is on the side is doing hair. So this is what draw me into this venture. So that you guys can kind of get to know me around though. And then my other videos, I'm gonna be doing hair videos, having discussion times with you guys about how to dye hair, 
how to color different colors that I do. I'm going to do a video on how to make a wig. There's more videos coming up on how to do so many things with hair. And majority of the videos will be with my hair so that you guys can see before you buy the versatility of the hair, how strong the hair is, and just the quality of the hair before you decide to purchase. So again, I thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to keep up with me and my company and I can't wait to see you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Take care.